question is, why, why does this work? Okay, so nicely. So the answer just really comes from that table okay, which we just established. Because uh, if you look at, the, for example, uh, Okay. Uh, if you want to do 8 times 5, okay, then we just figured out that this is reduced to 0.9 and 0.7, right? Okay. And in fact, uh, this one is just labeled in a very weird way, okay? but not equally spaced. Eight, 8 is corresponding to not exactly the, the level 9 here, right? So you see that they're exactly at the same location. And then the 5, 5 corresponds to the level 7 here. Okay? That's I already pre-labeled, you know, based on that table. Okay? So that's why if I just label the number like this based on this table, then uh, I can reduce the multiplication into the addition. Okay? So I just really transfer this one into this, okay? then I just back to that one okay? to get the 40. Then similar, similar thing for like 2 times 8. Remember the 2? Okay? 2 corresponds to 0.3. So that's exactly where okay, I just labeled 2. For the level three, okay, because of the point three, and then the eight is just similar here. Okay. And uh, well, so you might think this is just a, uh, no, not so useful because uh, you already know the answer, right? I mean, how to how to multiply just uh, one digit, but uh, um, actually, five hundred years ago, you know, one guy just spent twenty years to just uh, figure out this table was up to the seven digit. So not only the one digit. So it took 20 years okay, by one person. And then uh, his work was much appreciated because uh, once you get that kind of table, now you don't have to redo this kind of the calculation. Okay? You can just use this table to, for the reduction. So um, I just brought uh, the three digit table okay, because uh, the seven digit table, so you need uh, the shelf of the library, you know, the encyclopedias. Okay? So, three digits only, you need two pages. Then, uh, you, know, you can easily calculate, right? Like uh, how many, how many vol volume of books you need. Like a uh, three digit. <laughs> only two pages. Okay? So then, uh, the four digit. You need it's still still just uh, not much. Twenty pages. It's a small book. Then uh, five digit. You need a you need a book now. Two two hundred pages book. Then the six digit. You need two thousand pages book. So maybe you need a couple of books, right? <laughs> and the seven digit. You need twenty thousand pages. So you need to read the volume of the encyclopedia, right? Okay. And that was really published in the five hundred years ago. Okay. And people use this one. Okay. So, so let's just do the okay. okay, now let's do this calculation. We have three digits. So well it's, you can still you no know, do it maybe by hand, but uh, just imagine, do you want to do this by hand for the seven digits times seven digits? You probably don't want to do it. Right? Okay. So, if you're okay with the approximate answer, now you can use this table okay, much quicker okay, to get the answer. So, what you have to do is uh, pick up this table and then look at the size for 9.38 now, okay, corresponding size for this. Then you can get this one by looking at uh, the second page. No. You just scan the table, okay? Then you look at the 9.3, and then you look at the 8, and then just read off the what's crossing. Okay? So that's, that's what the 9.38. You get 0.972, okay? And then, do the same thing for 7.42. 
This is not so bad, eh? Compared to this one, eh? So, well, you can use calculator today, but uh, no. you can you can easily do this by hand, eh? Because this is only addition. One point. So now. You use the table backwards now, okay? So scan the table, and then in the table, if you find 1.8426 somewhere, then you get the answer here, okay? But uh, can you find this? No, why not? Yeah, because uh, this table only from the 1 to 10, right? So it's only 0 to 1. So of course you can find the 1 point, but Here's a, here's a trick. In this case, you can split. Okay? So you can split one point, something, and the one plus rest. Now you can find this one, right? Inside the table. Okay? So in the table, you just scan the table. Then now uh, you just uh, go backwards to read of the original value, okay? Corresponding to this. 6.96, right? And then, remember, this corresponds to 10, right? Then, remember, this is five times. So, this way, uh, this one, you don't need a calculator, okay? Times 10, so you just uh, move the decimal point to the one. Then you get. 69.6. Okay. So this is how you get the approximate answer for okay. original calculation. And then the, well, if you have a calculator, let's just cheat. But what's the actual value of that? What's the, what's the exact value of this? So this is the exact value. So it's not, that's not bad at all, right? It's very close here. Yeah. Okay. And then the, this even works much better for the division. No? You want to do this by hand. Yes. If you remember, how you got the, the size for the point 0.5 by, by doing this. Remember? 5 is, five is 10 over 2, 10 divided by 2, right? And then you got this x to be 1 minus 0.3. In other words, you just, you just reverse this. Now you, you can easily understand that the division is now reduced to the subtraction. So that's why to do this, now, okay, I, I think now you don't want to do this by hand, right? The division is much harder, yeah? but uh, this is not bad at all. Yeah? You can just do it by hand very easily. Then uh, this time, you may not be able to see the exact value on the table, but uh, what's the closest one? 1.26 or 27, right? Okay. So probably you can expect the answer to be 1.26 something. Okay. Then again, again, let's cheat. Let's cheat using your your nice calculator okay? <laughs> uh, in the 21st century. Okay. Exact answer is. 1.26 or something. So it's not bad at all, right? Okay. So that's how you get it. And uh, so now the question is, you probably need to get it, right? Uh, what I'm talking about here. Uh, you're talking about um, base 10 system? Logarithm? Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly the log logarithm, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, I don't know, some of you maybe teach, right? Maybe teach in high school, you know? 
this is how really the log should be introduced. Uh, because uh, if you just simply define the log, and you, you know this formula, right? So if, if you force the student to memorize all this formula, what is this for? You know? You know this famous formula, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe they could be good at just uh, doing this one, but uh, what is this useful for? This really you know, came from uh, this kind of motivation, okay? So you, you really want to reduce the uh, difficult multiplication and division into the, the easier, easier uh, additional subtraction. Okay? And, uh, uh, well, but uh, nowadays, you know, the, because of this technology, you know, the, of course you can just get any any answer very quickly, right? So, but uh, honestly, the this was still taught in the high school in the seventies, right? Like uh, I, I studied this in the high school, okay? but no, not anymore because of this. Okay? But, uh, um, nowadays, you know, you can get a nice value. Log two, just by putting this, or uh, even like a three digit. What is a what is this value? If you look at the two point zero zero, what's crossing bar? You remember what I got? I got a minute ago just a point only three, right? Why why you have this extra thing? But where where this this one zero comes from? Remember what, what I did? I raised two ten times and I got what? Oh, Twenty four, right? Then what did what did I, did I do? This this jump? I drop, right? That's exactly I drop this one zero. Okay. If I don't drop this and I, if I work for the, another twenty years, then I can come up with this one. Okay? So. 